Hey everybody, this is Holly, your Everyday Life Coach, and today on episode 20, we are going to talk about what is a life coach. I realized that I haven't done this episode, and I think, you know, so many people are confused about the difference between a life coach and a therapist, and to be honest, these are both great resources Um, Obviously, you know, I am a life coach, but I have gone to both of them, um, some at the same time, somewhat, sometimes separately, and they're definitely different in nature. So the first one that I want to talk about is a therapist, and a therapist is really looking at, like, feelings and looking at the root of your problems, right? Right? They're talking to you about like repairing yourself and normally they're focusing on your past and these feelings that you've gotten from like traumas or relationships, depression, anxiety, like all of those kind of angst. Um, You might also go to a therapist along with a psychiatrist to kind of help you with mood management, perhaps by taking medication. And gosh, like you might spend a whole six months, right? Maybe even longer talking about your past. And this is about like probing questions and psychoanalyzing and kind of coming to terms with your past. And so like when I think about therapy, it's really about like feelings and the root of your problems. Where when I look at the life coach and like what we do, it's about solving problems and looking at actions. So life coach is all about the future. Like, what do you want out of life? You know, it's actions and result driven. It's less about like, how are you feeling? What's your mood? And like, what's in your head right now? Like what's in your mind? It's about getting what you want out of life, whether it's like financial, work and life balance, career, goal setting. It's like the past is in more in terms. So when we look at the past, it's like what's blocked you from achieving your goals before. So we kind of like look at those and it's like, okay, let's find another way to, to try to combat these goals then. But we're not like dwelling in the past. And so often when I talk to people about themselves, like when I do a free consultation and where they're at in life, I realize they don't need my help yet. And I've actually turned down people because I realize that they truly need a therapist right now, not a life coach. They need to be ready for the action, but they're coming to me to talk about their feelings and the root of their problems. And it's like, eh, that's not what I'm trained for. That's really a therapist, right? And, and you, you want people to have the results that they're like yearning for. So in my case, I'm like, okay, I firmly believe maybe you should, you know, go to a therapist, work through that, and then come back to me. Because we want those lasting results. And if we are in a situation, um, you know, where our past just keeps being played over and over, and I'm sure everybody has kind of like felt that way at some point, going to a life coach is not going to change that. So you kind of have to get like work through those, the root of your problems and then be like, okay, I'm ready and I'm ready to like take action. And, and that truly is the difference. I mean, when you're trying to find a life coach, I think that chemistry is the most important thing. You're about to put this person in the trenches with you. And this is somebody that's going to help you achieve your goals. So it's really important that your their style 
matches well with how you learn or react to others. Um, it's, you know, it's important on how they plan on working with you. Like, what's their process? So you want to just ask them, like, okay, you know, how would we approach this situation? Like, how long, you know, do, do you think it's going to take me? Like, how often do you think I would need to see you? Um, like, you know, would I have homework? What would it entail? Like, kind of understand what their process is with their life coach pro- practice. Also, like, where did they go to training? Do they have any specialties that they focus on? It's like, you're almost, you know, they're interviewing you as much as you're interviewing them. So it's important that, you know, when you go down the life coach path, that you find the right life coach. And I know I offer free consultations, um, and it is a way to just kind of connect with somebody and see if you vibe. Most life coaches do, and you can find them, you can find them on the Google. No, you can find them by Googling them. Um, There are a lot of, like, websites that have directories. You can ask people on Facebook or your other social media channels. Um, Yeah, I mean, you know, I know for me how I've looked at my practice is like I'm someone who's going to help you like figure your shit out with you, right? I'm not going to be the one who does it all, but I'm going to help you like figure out your shit Put a plan in place and a course of action and make sure you stay on course. So like I definitely have a no BS type of practice. So that's the difference between life coach and a therapist. If it sounds like I'm the type of person that you need in your life right now, hit me up on my social media, on my website, and let's connect. This is Holly, your everyday life coach, and we're on episode 20, What is a Life Coach? Have a great day.